from the street to the executive tower. Listening to a little radio about uh, the COVID news here. These teachers have refused to work to teach the children. You don't care if the children die and the families die, but we do. This is what they're saying. Throw Graham off a cliff. Uh, I think it needs to be turned around. These Democrats don't care about our kids. If they don't get educated, they don't get back into where they can do so. So our, we have a... Uh, a teachers union here in Cal uh, in uh, Tucson, Arizona, in Arizona, in, in, in general, and the uh, the teachers union, Democrat, they come out and said that they want some astronomical amount of money to reopen their schools to make their schools safe. There is no definition for safe, by the way. They keep moving the goalpost, so to speak. Uh, keep changing the definition what is safe and what, what the problem is is they've come out and said you know what we're comfortable waiting you know August September October November they've come out and said that you know until the until things are safe well guess what's in November the elections this has been nothing but a uh, coordinated attack on our president nationwide Democrats want to keep this country closed down until November and I'm telling you right now like I've been telling you since the beginning of March their intentions always was because Trump has done nothing but good they needed to come up with something bad. So their intentions, nothing, I mean their intentions from the very beginning was to bring this up. This is all Trump's fault. They're gonna blame it all on Trump. He allowed this virus to come into the country. He allowed people to die. He's the problem. He's the reason why you're all laid off. He's the reason why you can't go to work because your kids can't go to school. He's the reason why all the foreclosures and the car repossessions because you couldn't pay your bills. Vote for Biden. That's how it's gonna go down. Trust me. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Good morning. <laughs> it's Monday morning coffee ride to work with Joe the beans are from Peru nicely grinded with a with some steamed milk and some sugar love it um, silver I looked at silver oh my god I'm telling you I got to do one of these every now and then you don't you don't see me do that too often Silver is closing in on $20 an ounce. Just before I left the house, I looked at Coin Market Cap. Now, what am I saying? I looked at Kitco. I look at Coin Market Cap for my cryptos. I looked at Kitco metal charts. $19.75, and that's in the green. That's pretty damn good. Um, I said that we're going to hit uh, two grand. Uh, for uh, gold, so that's on track as well. That's the gold market is up, but the silver market it's gonna hit twenty dollars, and that's just the beginning of that explosion upwards that all of us silver stackers have been talking about for a few years now. My Patreon uh, subscribers, I want to let you know something. From time to time. I am going to put my videos, when I do put my videos on YouTube, I share them for you on Patreon. I figured if you're paying the $5 or, or whatever contribution you're making, you should be able to see everything that I'm doing, regardless of what channel it's on. So when you see a video that is also made public on YouTube. Don't fret, I'm just trying to make things more convenient for you, perhaps. Maybe make a Patreon a one-shop stop type of thing, one-stop shop type of thing, where you don't have to go back and forth and look at uh, my my videos and whatnot. So that that's uh, 
going to be occurring. Um, but however, the videos I make specifically for you folks, they don't get to see. And if they do get to see them, I normally publish them about two or three weeks after you've seen them. Anyway, again, silver is doing good up. I recommend buying some before it hits the 20 buck mark. Uh, buy what you can. I have a feeling it's going to make a lot of people um, really happy in the future. There's this argument that silver is not an, an investment. And in many ways, shape, and form, I, I have to agree. However, there's that fine line of retaining your wealth, what they say silver does, and making a couple of bucks off of it. Let's, let's face it. You know, we're told that silver is really not an investment. It's just a way of retaining our wealth. Well, I hate to break the news to you. Uh, there's many people who invest in gold and silver. And I have a feeling that although we're buying silver with the intentions of just retaining our wealth, I think it's going to go above and above and beyond that expectation. I have a feeling that we are going to make a couple of bucks off of our silver. I also want to really... Um, I want you to realize this. And I know I'm preaching to the choir, but you've got to hear it every now and then. Silver stackers, as well as gold, are doing better off savings-wise than most people. Silver stackers, and when I say silver stackers, automatically know I mean also gold. Silver stackers, you have a better savings account than 99% of people, percent of this country, percent of whatever country you might be from. Your money is a true savings account. It is not put aside for your next month's worth of bills. That's not a savings account, is it? So anyway, you're doing really good. Um, silver prices and gold prices are going to go up. This is the way it's going to be. And I'm hoping that one day you'll be able to count all your silver and find out that you have hundreds of thousands of dollars in savings. I mean, obviously, you have to buy the silver first to get into the. Uh, but, I mean, let's just say, let's just put it this way: if you have five hundred dollars of, of, I mean, if you have five hundred ounces of silver, five hundred ounces of silver, and so it went up twenty bucks, spot price. How much? How much do you have in silver? I mean, how much do you have in savings? Not a bad chunk. And actually more because when you sell your silver, you'll be able to recoup some of that premium. So if so if silver's 20 bucks, chances are you'll be able to sell if silver's 20 bucks spot. Chances are you'll be able to sell your silver for 25. Um I'm just saying things are looking good and twenty dollars is just the beginning. No, I'm harping on this. I just really want to emphasize that things are going to, the outlook for silver is great. And um, when the stocks come crashing, your silver be ascending. Take care, folks.